What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing and initial review of the Kensington Expert Wireless Trackball Mouse. Now, what is this? This is, it's a huge trackball. It's used with either Windows PCs or a Mac computer and it has one of the largest trackballs within the industry. Now, why would you wanna use this? Well, if you're working on a computer all day and you're working on a triple monitor setup, like what I have in back over there, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a good user experience navigating your screens and going back and forth whenever you have to scroll. There's a bunch of mice on the market from big time companies like Logitech and others that create awesome solutions when it comes to uh, working with your computer. And I have a couple of them. I have right here, I have the MX Master. This is an awesome mouse, one of the best. I have this ergonomic one by Microsoft and this came uh, with the keyboard that's also ergonomic. And when you're working on a computer all day, you want to make sure you have an ergonomic design because trust me, your hands will get tired. Since I do uh, spend a significant amount of time on the computer and since I'm editing videos, since I'm coding, since I'm doing a significant amount of research, sometimes I like to go left-handed. You know, I am right-handed, but I like to also uh, use a left-handed mouse. So this one is both a right and left-handed mouse. It's a very simple one. So I've gotten myself trained on how to use this. One thing that Mac or Apple seems to perform very well on and everybody loves is the trackpad or the touchpad. For that, I found a solution um, about a year and a half ago and it's this one right here this is a logitech t650 touchpad and this is really good it's one of the best that i've actually found i've tried one from dell i've tried one from other solutions but this is the absolute best touchpad that I've found. Still doesn't quite compare to the um, to the Mac. Again, you wanna make sure you have the best experience. So that's why I got this one right here. I haven't used it before. I haven't uh, had any experience with this company in terms of a uh, mouse solution or a trackball solution. And it comes at a very hefty price tag. Uh, the price tag for this one is $99.99. Now the thing is, I'm always looking for deals. So what I did was I searched online. I checked Amazon first and they had it for $99.99. I checked on Kensington's website they also had it for $99.99. But I saw that B&H had a one day sale and it was $30 off, but B&H is not by me. So I figured there's a Michael Center not too far. And I know that Michael Center price matches. They price match Newegg and they price match B&H and they have a whole list of other stores, not Amazon though that they do price match. Amazon's the one company that they don't price match, or at least one of the uh, big ones out there. So this one I got for about 70 bucks. And now what does the Kensington Expert Mouse Wireless Trackball actually have? What features does it have? If you can see here, and I'll unbox it in a moment, you have the four macro buttons there. You probably can't see it right now, but I'll show you in a second. You have this huge uh, trackball, and then you have a scroll wheel right there. It also has uh, Bluetooth 4.0, connectivity or a 2.4 gigahertz USB connector as well. So that's really cool. All right, so let me just take this out the box now. I don't know if I need this, but let's see. This is the first time I'm taking this out of the box. I'm gonna take it out, take a look at it, show you what it comes with. Pulling out the instruction manual. Mm, they make these things uh, very secure. Almost there, almost there. All right, so this is it. Careful when you're taking this out because the trackball actually comes out. So you, like I said before, you have the four macro buttons there that are customizable. Now you would have to download the, uh, I believe they call it the trackball work software from Kensington. And then you can customize these buttons with Windows or Macs. So that's cool because I'll set it to some keyboard shortcuts and see how far I can take this. Again, I haven't worked with this before. So this is my first experience with the Kensington Expert Mouse Wireless Trackball. So you have that scroll wheel. They have something called diamond die technology. Now I'm not really sure what that means, but it sounds really cool. I guess what it means, it's gonna give you a better, smoother experience when using the trackball. Now I've seen a, a bunch of editors, video editors, who are using trackballs and macro type devices in order to edit videos faster. So that's what prompted me to get one of these. Now in the back over here, you have these two buttons right there, these two switches. Now one of them is for the Bluetooth, that would be that one right there, I guess, or to turn it on or off. And then the other one is for the USB receiver. And when you open it up, 
you have the USB receiver right there in its own compartment. So that's great if you're going to be taking this to the office or taking it with you on the go. Now, if you're going to be mobile a lot, they do have a smaller model, the uh, mobile solution, and it's like half the price. So that might be ideal for you. And it takes two AA batteries. All right. So let me set that aside. Let me put the uh, trackball back in. Like I said, this is one of the biggest ones in the industry. Let me put the packaging aside. Let's see. What else do we get inside the box? All right, so we get this cool thing here. If you uh, want to have an ergonomic design and um, like a cool resting spot for your wrist, it comes with this uh, wrist pad that you attach it via those two little holes right there and that slot right there. So you just slide it in and it stays in. Take that ball out again. That's how that wrist pad looks. So if you need a more ergonomic design or if you need a wrist rest, that uh, comes with this trackball solution. So that's pretty cool. All right, let me set that aside. See what else we got. All right, this part I love. One thing I despise, one thing I really, really don't enjoy is when you buy a device that requires batteries and they don't give you batteries or they give you batteries that are gonna run out like within half a day. Kensington is actually giving you pretty good batteries here. It gives you two batteries and they're Energizer batteries. So I'm assuming this should last you a pretty decent time. So I'm gonna take the batteries out and I'm gonna put them inside the trackball. All right, let's get this done. Make sure there's no plastic still there. I'm going to insert these. It seems like they both go in the same way. Put the batteries in. Let me take the USB receiver out. Now I'm gonna put the cover back on and that's it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna attach this USB receiver to my desktop computer. I'm gonna download the software. I'll screen record it so that way I can show you how to get the setup. Now, this is gonna be a learning experience for both you and me because again, first time for me to use this software. So let's see how that goes. I'm gonna hook up this receiver. Apparently you could hook this up with either the Bluetooth or the USB receiver. I always find that whenever you're using inter connected devices uh, wirelessly that the receivers end up performing better than the Bluetooth technology. And this supports Bluetooth 4.0 and the low energy version. So that's pretty cool. That'll save on your battery life. But I'm going to use the receiver and see how that goes. So now let me jump on the computer. I'll make sure to record it and let's go through this together. All right. So I'm plugging in the USB receiver. All right. So you see I got the notification setting up a device. Let's see how that works. Device is ready. So that's one thing that people seem to like about this a lot. It's really plug and play. You plug it in, it works out of the box. So let me see. Let me uh, turn this thing on. I'm using the USB receiver and not the Bluetooth. All right. So I'm scrolling using the USB receiver now or the trackball. All right, let me set myself up here. Let me open up Chrome. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, take a moment, hit the subscription button and the notification bell. So that way, whenever I create new videos, you'll be notified. I create videos on how to create a WordPress powered website, search engine optimization, how to code, freelancing tips, social media tips, and more. If you wanna learn how to do things like how to upload pictures directly to Instagram from your computer, I have, uh, video on how to do that here but actually the better one because this is the first video i did on that topic the better one is this one right here because there was some issues when it comes to browser cache where some people wouldn't see the icon initially and that i demonstrated over here and i also showed how to use other popular web browsers besides chrome like firefox safari and others so definitely check out this video i'm going to this website here because this is the uh trackball works customization software. So let me see, I haven't used this before, this mouse. I'm only using the mouse. I'm gonna see how this experience is for me. All right, so I haven't downloaded the software yet and out of the box, it seems to work well. This is definitely gonna be useful, I can see. And the buttons, okay, so I gotta know how to customize these buttons here. All right, so the lower left button out of the box on the left-hand side, lower left, that one is the uh, left click. Then I'm assuming that the lower right one is the right click, yes. All right, so that's pretty cool. I'm just getting myself familiar with this trackball. And then for scrolling downwards, I want to scroll down a, down a page, make sure the focus is there. You just use the scroll wheel to scroll down or scroll up. Oh, that's pretty cool. What I like about this uh, trackball too is that it's for both left-handed and right-handed people or people like me who want to be able to use both. So it's an ambidextrous design. I never know if I'm saying that uh, word right, ambidextrous. So that's pretty cool. So the track 
ball is good the scroll wheel is good let me see what these uh that button does straight up oh okay so i see if you press the uh button on the left hand side the upper left button you could then use the scroll wheel to scroll up and down and that's pretty smooth again this is not using the um trackball works software yet i'm just using the native features straight out of the box from the kensington wireless expert trackball mouse that's a that's a mouthful all right so let me see what the upper right corner button does I'm not sure what it does yet again first time using it so let's see all right so we have a couple of ways to navigate like i said we have the scroll wheel we have the trackball we can click the upper left button and then use the uh, track ball to scroll up and down i'm assuming right to left i'll test that out at another point and then just press the upper left button again in order to get it back to the regular pointer all right okay so now let's see let me see about this here i'm going to increase the size of the screen to make this easier for you to read okay so it says we are showing you the usa version of our website would you prefer a different version now this is fine but that's cool i guess they have um the website in different languages so that's pretty cool all right so the track ball works allows you to program your trackball to behave how you want it to by customizing the functions assigned to each trackball button so the goal of this is to be more productive and to personalize your computing experience so let's see you can assign hotkeys shortcuts to each button so right now we have the middle click here we have the click here then we have the right click and button number four so right now i guess this is not assigned to anything you have the defaults that you can set up stuff like that all right text snippets and navigation you can program buttons to enter predefined snippets of text or assign buttons to pre-selected navigation functions that's probably what i'm going to do for keyboard shortcuts and for navigating um on my computer let's see media and web browser controls want to use your trackball to control your volume or web browser no problem assign buttons to volume up or down and page forward and back all right editing and desktop functions program buttons to perform cut and paste functions with a single click you can also set buttons to minimize or maximize windows and the desktop assignment options. All right. System and launching shortcuts. Uh, screen lock can be instantly invoked with a quick click rather than holding down three keys at the same time and clicking to confirm. Folders and files can also be opened with just a single click. Now that's going to save time. And let me tell you, as a freelancer, as a coder, and now someone who's uh, trying to create more videos, time is money. You want to save as much time as possible. So you got to always find ways to be more productive all right cursor point to controls you could adjust cursor point to speed and acceleration to react exactly as you wanted to dependent on how quickly you turn your trackball slow pointer single axis movement snap to default so that's good want to scroll anti-clockwise or to scroll up and clockwise to scroll down you can change that orientation right there select inertial scroll to maintain scrolling momentum just like a touch screen and when you swipe downwards to scroll down and again like i mentioned before before it's compatible for Windows and for Mac as well. You would download the version for your operating system right here or right here. So I'm going to download here and I believe I recall the bottom left button is to click. Yep, that's it. All right, so it's downloading the trackball works software right here. All right, once it's done, you could just hover over it, click. It's going to start opening it up. We're going to need to extract this, extract all, and then show the extracted files. All right, so we have the exe file right here. I'm going to go through the file process of installing this now yes I want to install this all right so it's extracting it and now it's going to run through the process of setting it up so this is the license agreement right here I'm going to click on yes because like most license agreements you most likely cannot use the product unless you agree to its terms of use all right go to next you are now ready to install trackball works press the next button to begin the installation or the back button to re-enter installation information I'm going to click on next and let it run through its process all right so what would you like to install this device software i never always trust i always like to get the um the prompt notifications but i will obviously install the software Okay, some components were not installed completely for finishing installation. It is necessary to reboot your computer. I'm going to pause the screen recording here and then I'll restart the computer and then I'll see how to launch the program and, you know, what are some of the settings I can customize. All right, so let me just stop this recording for now and I'll come right back in a second. So stay with me. All right, so I'm back over here. I rebooted my computer. So let's see if everything's set up. I'm going to go over here to trackball, see if that shows up. Yes, it does. Let's see. Uh, trackball works configuration desktop app I'm gonna press enter for that let me bring up Chrome again I'm gonna go back to that 
website all right so we're here now all right so let's see how to set this up so what i'll do i'm gonna snap that to the left there i'm gonna reduce the size of the screen and i'm gonna bring this using the left click button and the lower button there and the trackball to move this over it's pretty smooth doesn't seem uh forced seems pretty good all right so now let's see how we can configure this now when you're first starting off with a trackball it does take some uh getting used to that's something that i've seen other people who have done similar reviews mention but so far seems pretty good all right so let me see now focus here bring that up a little bit let's see what can we do here we have the buttons right here the middle click button four seems like it's not assigned you could also use uh two button combinations as you see here right now it's not assigned this is the right click middle click and this is the uh left click or the regular standard click all right so then you have the pointer there you could have it go to standard speed or you can pick it up you can enable acceleration snap to default slow pointer single access movement let's just apply this for now see how this works oh yeah the the scroll wheel you don't see it because i'm only recording one of my monitors but it is easily going very quickly from my left monitor middle monitor to the right monitor now that's important now this is great because again when you're working with a large monitor setup or a triple monitor setup these are 27 inch monitors so it takes up a lot of space on my desk and it also takes time with a regular mouse going back and forth so using the trackball is definitely going to be um, beneficial so far that's for the pointer and see the scrolling all right so the scrolling again remember you have the scroll wheel in the center of the ball so right now it's set to slow let me apply that all right so that's definitely scrolling faster now, if you want inertial scroll, see what that is. Apply that. Now, I'm going to use the uh, middle click button, which is the actual left upper button. Oh, wow, that's fast. All right. Let me see. Put that back. Oh, yeah, that's definitely fast. And this inertial scrolling means even after you let go of the trackball, it continues scrolling. That might be helpful sometimes, you know, if you want to have that effect. But if you want to be more accurate or more precise, you leave it set to not inertial scroll go back here maybe i'm not setting this up right because it still seems to have the inertial scroll applied to it or maybe that's not what it's supposed to do let me see here let me actually read the instructions all right so select inertial scroll to maintain scrolling momentum just like a touch screen when you swipe downwards to scroll down all right so i guess it's just a momentum thing so the speed so without it you have a slowdown in the momentum i guess with it you have a uh, continuous momentum and if you need help you have that tab right there so basically you have the buttons there the four buttons the scroll wheel and the trackball then you have the double click options here where you can use these two over here or these two over here and if you ever need to go back to the default you click this button and if you want to create profiles now that's pretty cool because that means that you could probably create a profile for something like your code editor or your text editor profile for your video editor and profiles for whatever applications you're using so that might be something that i'll definitely take advantage of actually i will definitely take advantage of that's the entire purpose you want to have um these macro buttons help you in your productivity all right so that seems pretty much it i mean this is the kensington expert wireless trackball mouse it's not a typical mouse that you move around like a uh, across your desk it stays stationary but with the large trackball and with the ability to customize it hopefully this will offset any potential carpal tunnel syndrome i might get by being on the computer as a coder for sometimes eight to ten hours a day and especially now since i'm doing some video editing um with the adobe programs you know obviously being productive is something i definitely want to uh want to be again this is my first review my unboxing and first initial review of this uh trackball i'm gonna try it out over the next couple of weeks with some of the uh programs i use most often like adobe like php storm uh my atom text editor and visual studio code i'll see how it works or continues to work within the browsers and with other software like microsoft word and things of that nature and camtasia for screen recording i'll see how this improves my workflow if it's actually better than the mx master mouse by logitech or the ergonomic mouse by microsoft both are also great tools to use but obviously i want to 
that. See how I can improve my workflow, be more productive, and try to save my fingers from the endless hours of coding and tapping on my keyboard as possible. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this uh, initial unboxing and review. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that notification icon so that way whenever I create a new video, you'll be notified. If you have any comments or tips, leave them down in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.